Welcome back to In The Pot, O3B. We're resuming the reading of uh, the Gospel of Miriam at uh, page 15, because of the missing pages, um, where Miriam is recounting a, a meeting with Jesus in vision, and where Jesus is telling her things that the disciples have not heard. And Craving said, I did not see you descend, but now I see you rising. Why do you lie, since you belong to me? The soul answered, I saw you, though you did not see me nor recognize me. I was with you as with a garment, and you never felt me. Having said this, the soul left, rejoicing greatly. Then it entered the third climate, known as ignorance. Ignorance inquired of the soul, Where are you going? You are dominated by wicked inclinations. Indeed, you lack discrimination, and you are enslaved. The soul answered, Why do you judge me, since I have made no judgment? I have been dominated, but I myself have not dominated. I have not been recognized, but I myself have recognized that all things which are composed shall be decomposed on earth and in heaven. Freed from this third climate, the soul continued its ascent and found itself in the fourth climate. This has seven manifestations. The first manifestation is darkness. The second, craving the third ignorance the fourth lethal jealousy the fifth enslavement to the body the sixth intoxicated wisdom the seventh guileful wisdom these are the seven manifestations of wrath and they oppress the soul with questions where do you come from murderer where are you going, vagabond? The soul answered, That which oppressed me has been slain. That which encircled me has vanished. My craving has faded, and I am freed from my ignorance. I left the world with the aid of another world. A design was erased by virtue of a higher design. Henceforth I travel toward repose, where time rests in the eternity of time. I go now into silence. Having said all this, Miriam became silent, for it was in silence that the teacher spoke to her. Then Andrew began to speak and said to his brothers, Tell me, what do you think of these things she has been telling us? As for me, I do not believe that the teacher would speak like this. These ideas are too different from those we have known. And Peter added, How is it possible that the teacher talked in this manner with a woman about secrets of which we ourselves are ignorant? Must we change our customs and listen to this woman? Did he really choose her and prefer her to us? Then Miriam wept and answered him, My brother Peter, what can you be thinking? Do you believe that this is just my own imagination, that I invented this vision? Or do you believe that I would lie about our teacher? At this, Levi spoke up, Peter, you have always been hot-tempered, and now we see you repudiating a woman, just as our adversaries do. Yet, if the teacher held her worthy, who are you to reject her? Surely the teacher knew her very well, for he loved her more than us. Therefore let us atone and become fully human, so that the teacher can take root in us. Let us grow as he demanded of us, and walk forth to spread the gospel, without trying to lay down any rules or laws other than those he witnessed. When Levi had said these words, they all went forth to spread the gospel. 
was the Gospel according to Miriam. Before I go on to relay some parts from the Levi Dowling's Aquarian Gospel, that has also had a huge part in the forming of the story of the Miriam Ring, I would just like to say that maybe publishing that could trigger further findings of Miriam's Gospel. Other parts we haven't had, maybe in Egypt or Israel, Jordan, Syria, Turkey, France, or even Germany, where some fragments had apparently already turned up in a museum. But anyway, hope to see you again next week. Thank you for listening. Bye.